I know a lot of people ask themselves that question, why can I be successful? What is wrong with me? And not to say that these people have no education, they went to the best of universities and they still cannot see their way. Listening to Visionary Talk Radio with Reverend Bagel T. Christ Consciousness right here with you. Want to thank you again. Want to thank you for being our friend on Visionary Talk Radio all the time, right? That is how we do it. And you know, it's a family. It's a family. So I said, listen, I'm going to talk about this demonic spirit. You know, what is this joy in our family? This joy in our lives, you know, in our community. And we stay not looking and we're not learning from our mistakes. You know, when we go and learn from our mistakes, I think it's a time now for our people to say, listen, let's learn from our mistakes. Let's see the things that we are doing wrong or if we are doing anything wrong. Sometimes you're not doing nothing wrong. You know, but you're wondering what, where is the mistakes is coming from? Where is this mistake coming from? Am, am I doing something right? Or, you know, what is going on in my life? If you ever asked that question before, what is going on in my life? Why can I seem to be progressing? Why can I seem to have this, uh, what you call, faith? Where is my faith? Listen, I know a lot of people ask themselves that question. Where is my faith? Why can I believe like, sir, like, like you will go to church all the time? Why can I believe, like, you know, in the same way the reverends have the faith or, or Tom or Jerry or whoever have the faith? Where is my faith in God? I know a lot of people ask themselves that question. Why can I be successful? What is wrong with me? And not to say that these people have no education. They went to the best of universities and they still cannot see their way. They cannot see the success. You know, so they feel to themselves that God has forgotten about you. You see, that is what a lot of people feel, that God turned his back on them. But I say to you, God will never turn his back on a loving person. God will never turn his back on a kind-hearted person. He will not. You see, the demonic forces have you believe in that something is wrong with you. That is what this demonic forces wants you to believe that something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. But I say in tonight, if you never done anything wrong, how can something be wrong with you? That is the question you should ask yourself. If you have never done anything wrong in society, you know, you read your scriptures, you study God, you love the God, you, you live by the law. Well, then there's nothing wrong with you, so you keep asking yourself, what is wrong? Look, I know a lot of people right now, especially men, will ask themselves, why can't I find a wife? You know, they want a wife, they want family, they want children, and they cannot seem to find that girl, they cannot seem to find that wife. You see, the demonic forces want you to believe that you are not capable to do good for yourself. And once you believe that you are not capable to solve your own problem, the devil got you. He got you. Because you just lamentate in all of these wicked things that we believe that don't belong to us. You see, that is what we do as Christian people. We sit and cry each day. And sometimes we don't realize it's the times that we are living in. You know, everything is a season. I truly believe that. Everything is a season. If you look at life, you will see everything work in season. That is one of my beliefs. So that is why I don't worry about certain things. I don't think about certain things because I know when a time reach, no one can stop you. I know when your season come, no one can stop you. You want me to say it again? When that time come for you to shine like a star, 
as the way God intended for you to shine, no one will stop you. No one can stop you. You see, they think by trying to hold back your progress will throw you down, but no. God is behind the wheel. He is in control of your life. Once you are living a spiritual life, you don't have to worry about who's slowing you down, who don't like you, who don't care for you. You don't have to worry about things like that. Because as the young people say, God is watching over you. You see, but if you have the faith, you will believe in yourself. When God is speaking to you, listen, every righteous person know when God is talking to them. Every spiritual person know that when God is speaking to them. So when God is talking to your heart, when God is talking to you, you got to listen. You see, because many of us want to listen to the society. We want to listen to our friends. We, you know, we look what our friends are wearing and what all they are dressing the vehicle, the big cars and things, and you find yourself lost in these things. And that is why I say to you, listen to the voice of God. It will never lead you astray once you learn to obey. You see, we want what we don't want to obey. We want what we don't want to listen. This is our people cry. So then we ask ourselves, what is wrong with me? Some of us problem, what is wrong with you? You're not listening to the Spirit of God. You rather to listen to your friends and family rather than God. These are demonic forces outside there. And that is why you live in torment. Many of people live in, in torment, mental suffering. Like I said to you yesterday, what you call insam insomnia. Insomnia. They're living in torment, mental torment. They are slave to everything that lives around them. Because they don't know how to control their thoughts. They don't know how to stop even thinking. You know, you meet some people and they say to me sometimes, Rev, I cannot stop thinking. My mind is racing. My mind is going over and over the same thing over. I cannot stop thinking. This is what many people say to me. Rev, help me. Give me something. And I say to, I say to them sometimes, I say, listen, you know, you don't have a problem. You don't have a problem. What you got to do is to think about the thing that what you are thinking about. That is what you got to do. See what you are thinking if it's right. And once you begin to understand your human nature in the way God intended for you to live your life, listen, and I say it again and I say it over and over until you get it. God did not intend for you to live a sinful life. Oh God, do not want you to want you to live a sinful life. That is not what God intended for any of us to do. So don't get that mixed up with your human emotion that what God feel or what God wants you to do. All you got to do is to pick up the scripture and understand what God wants you to do. Isn't this right? That is what we got to do. See, rather than blaming yourself, we go around the whole day, you know, every day, every moment, blaming ourselves, blaming other people for your downfall. When you yourself ought to blame for the things that you're thinking about you. How can you think that you are no good, but you want success? How can you think that God forget you, you know, forgotten you, and you want to be known to the world? It don't make sense. Am I speaking the truth? You cannot say God don't love you and want someone else to love you. No, you got to love you first. This is just the demonic forces is speaking to you. How did that demonic spirit enter into your mind? How did it get there? How did it reach into your mind? 
Well, I go to tell you how it reach into your mind. It reach into your mind by listening to negative. That is the first indoctrination to listen to the words of evil. You see, a lot of us, we don't know how to turn our backs on evil because sometimes the gossip is sweet. I'm going to say it again. Sometimes the gossip is sweet. You know, we like, we love to listen to juicy gossip. That is how Satan going to get you. But I'm saying to you, if you are not strong enough to listen to sweet gossip, turn away. Turn away from the gossip. Turn away from the negative words and what you call words of pollution that polluted the minds of many people. Stay away from that. Stay away from music that insults you, insults your brain and your integrity. Stay away from those things. But you see, a sense that we are human beings in a human body, we love to listen to juicy gossip. You know, who doing what and who is good and who is bad, who man is taking away, who woman, who woman is taking away, who man, and all of who is poor, who is rich, who don't have something in the fridge, all of this nonsense we are doing. And we are passing the time. You know, I know a lot of brothers who do, brothers that do wrong thing, and, so, and some of them now, and they, they're in their 50s, and they are regretting their life. I should have d do this, I should, I should, I should. I should not do that. You don't want you to your grandchildren and great grand coming up talking that kind of rhetoric, what I should do, what I should not do. You know, people are 60 and they're still looking for a wife. S let me say it right. Some men are still 50 and 60 are now looking for wife and children. Because all of their life, they wasted. They waste their life. They, they wasted their youths, their youth. They waste their time. You see, and they blame God for these things. God, why did you make me smoke cocaine? Come, God didn't make you smoke cocaine. It's your greedy habit. It's your bad fault. Not learning to listen. We blame God for everything. Listen, I cannot stop to wonder why people blame God for their relationship. Why people blame God for their wicked ways. Why people blame God for their bad habits. What, the, what do God have to do with your bad habits? Didn't he warn you in the scripture? Do not do this, do not do that, thou shalt not. So how can you come back and return and say, God, allow you to do that? When in the beginning, he warned you, do not be like Cain. That is the spirit of Cain. You turn around and you blame God. There's a lot of people that do that. And you know I'm not making it up if I'm listening to you. And I'm not talking about if you're 15 and 16. I'm talking about people in their 40s and 50s and 60s. Still blaming God for what they have done 20 and 30 years ago. Demonic forces in these people's life and they don't know. How did that demon reach in your mind? I'm going to say it again. You listen to the wrong thing. You are listening to the wrong people. You know, this reminds me of something. You know, a lady find a perfect husband, woman, a young girl, 17, 20, find a perfect guy, you know, the guy is the perfect guy, a dream guy, you know, and she loved the guy and they're doing good, but her friend is telling her all the different negative things about the guy, even making up lies about her boyfriend intended to be her husband, and you know, women and men as human nature, we seem to have this, what you call, that ego, that jealous spirit of Cain. If, you, if you're not righteous. So of course, that spirit overcome her. And she listened to the demon and she goes striking against a boyfriend. You see, and when people do things like that and the, and the man is gone, they turn around and they laugh at you. They laugh at you. 
They will say anything to destroy good relationship. Do you know some people are signed by the devil just to do things like that? The devil gives them the power to go break up relationships or to destroy families. The devil do things as that. It will put people in your community to destroy you, give you things, give you the guns, give you the drugs and say, listen, do this and you will get that. The small minded people always take the bribe. Am I making this thing up? Of course not. There's a lot of people do things like that. And the poor girl don't have the experience with friends of envy and jealousy. She go and she listen to her friends and break up a relationship. That is the seeds of the devil. That is the demonic spirits that is in your life. So I'm saying to you tonight, you got to get rid of the demonic spirits in your life. But how are you going to get rid of those demonic spirits if you don't know what is a demonic spirit? How are you going to know? There are people walking around with demonic spirits. And again, when I say demonic spirit, not from hell, not from the ground. The character of Satan, that is what I'm talking about. Because they can smile in your face. You believe that they're so loving. You believe they're so kind. And when you turn their back, they stab you in the back. And they say all such nasty things about you that you can't even imagine. People do it all the time. You, you understand? That is a demonic spirit. But you see, we like to look for the demonic spirit down in the ground. In the bottom, deep down in the surface. This is what these churches, what some of these churches been saying to us. Look for the demonic dog in the ground. So we are not clever enough to know that this person who trying to destroy you are standing up right in front of you. We don't understand that. Or we try not to. You see, we, some people are so kind that they cannot believe that their friends de have demonic spirits. Are demonics. That they are evil, that they are serpent, that they are devilish. Because they know to play the game in front of you, because they know you are Christian. They we pretend, you know, the serpent always pretend the serpent, the serpent will crawl on his belly. And when the time is right, he know to raise itself to sting you. But he, he, you're not going to know that is a serpent. Listen, and the serpent just don't come as male. The serpent just don't come as female. The serpent come as man, woman, children, priest, rabbi, lawyers, everything. Professors, they come all out at you. Right? This is what it's about. And I feel I didn't even get into the, get into the source of what I'm talking about. Right? As I'm looking at my time. You know, so we as, as Christian people, we got to understand it. We got to understand this demonic spirit that we are dealing with. It's not somewhere down in the ground. It's the one that talks to you every day. It's the one that wants to make you feel that they're so good. It's the ones who come and talk about you, you know. Or they feel we can, we can listen, you're going to listen to, to, to them. Because why the demonic spirit going to come at you? Because there's something good about you. Listen, Satan don't want to go around people who know good. If you're a junk, if you're a junkie, if you want crack cocaine, Satan don't want anything to do with you again. He got you. That's a destroy life you're looking at. I tell people all the time, when you see those junkies, listen, listen, as human, as a human being, people say, well, you live your life. I don't look at it that way. I look at every life as special to God. Every life is special to God because God will create all the lives. You see, if you know what I know, you will not laugh at a human being who see, who destroy the life with drugs. You will not do it. You will not do it. Because I know every brother is a brother and every sister is a sister. You will not do it. 
But some of us love to do things like that. It means to say you have a demonic spirit. If you're going to laugh at someone, one, when they fall, you have a demonic spirit. If you're wishing for people to, 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 to do bad just for you to laugh, you have a demonic spirit. If you see someone good and you just want to destroy them, it means to say you have a demonic spirit. Get rid of that demonic spirit and come to God. That's why I say to you all the time, going to church doesn't mean you know God. Going to church it don't mean anything sometimes for some people. So let's come back to God. That is what I'm saying. Come back to God. But let me take this break and when I come back, I will, you know, go deeper and deeper into this. You know, I know the devil is listening right now. I know that. But let them continue, continue to listen. They shall be saved if they listen to the message. That is what it's about. You're listening to Visionary Talk Radio with Reverend Bagin Tewadalam, Christ Consciousness, right here. All right? <laughs> 